Jason Watt, how's it going, man? Good to see you here at the Booyah Cup today. Uh, how's it feel, brother, to your newly spo sponsored player uh, with Red Dragon? Huh? Uh, been great, man. Yeah, awesome. I definitely, uh, you know, like we've talked, man, it's a, definitely a blessing to uh, not only be a player for Red Dragon, but also work for the company, you know, win more Red Dragon. No door, big shout out to them. So, yeah, man, it's been great for sure. And what's your role actually with Winmore Red Dragon? What What is your title here in North America? Yes, yeah, so I'm the North American sales manager, actually USA, uh, in the USA market because um, still in uh, Canada we have some distributors we work with. So, um, yeah, so just in the U.S., we, we've taken over our own dis uh, distribution, opened a warehouse in Dallas. So it's, um, yeah, we're, we're taking over that from a couple partners we worked with in the past, Dutchman Darts and uh, Escalade. So as of February 1st, we've been doing our own distribution out of the Dallas warehouse. So it's been uh, been going well, man, for sure. Yeah, and, and support those wholesalers as well, which is which is massively important to the growth of American companies as well. So that's that's good on Winmore Red Dragon to do that. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, we, you know, it's, um, it was something that uh, has been in the works maybe for the last uh, year or so. Uh, the contract was through the end, uh, end of January. So, you know, big shout out to Escalade and Dutchman. They've done a great job for us over the past, you know, several, I don't know how many, a couple of decades, I think. Um, but, you know, Winmore, we, we thought it was the time to move into this market. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of growth in this, in the U.S. market. And, uh, yeah, man, it's been going great. So couldn't ask for anything more, you know. And one last question on that side of things. What do you think the future holds for Winmore here in the U.S.? Man, you know, we're, we're reaching out to support uh, the Booyah Cup. You know, we're here this weekend. It's been great. Um, we're, we're supporting ADO, the CDC, um, you know, the Seacoast. We supported them. We supported the Port City. So, you know, we want to support and, and grow darts from a from a organic level, you know, just continue to grow it, whether it's soft tip or steel tip. Um, you know, we want to we want to be in there. We want to support that and, uh, you know, just continue to grow the game from, you know, from the organic level and just and just build it up here in the States to where it is, you know, over in Europe. You know, hopefully we get there at some point. Yeah, we've got so many sports we got to compete with, and if we can get that little notch up, it's always good. And nice to have the support from Winmore to do that. Now, from a player perspective, yeah. the Buyak Cup didn't really go your way, but that's that's how darts is. Sometimes you're hot, sometimes you're not. That's how it is. What do you think of yourself as a player going forward? What's what's next for you? Man, you know, I play two soft tip events a year, so um, I come into it with confidence. I thought I would, would play well yesterday, and I just didn't. I just didn't turn up. And, you know, that's darts. That's darts as a whole. Um, some days you... Like I said yesterday, some days you're the bull, some days you're the horn, some days you're nothing, you know, and that, that was me. So I struggled, uh, definitely struggled, uh, didn't play my A game, didn't play my B game. And, um, you know, it, I play with 24 gram steel tip darts and I come down to 18 gram soft tip. So it's it's a big change, man, and people don't understand that. And, uh, you know, I feel confident going in today. And, um, you know, I, I made some changes, you know, back in the room and, you know, I, we got our board in our room. so. <laughs> I made some changes back there, and uh, you know I, I know that my A game can compete with anybody in the room, you know, and um, and that, that's what keeps me coming, right? So at the same time, you know, um, it's one of those things as a player. I know I can compete here, and I can compete at, at bull shooter in the soft tip, and uh, you know I can continue fighting because that's all you can do as a player, right? So. Yeah, hundred percent correct. You just got to keep slinging and, and going, and hope. Yeah, hopefully, it goes your way, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt, man. And you know, um, my first round match, I, I played Jesse Johnson, which you know he's a phenomenal player, and, and I just, uh, you know, I had six starts at twenty four, I think, to break him in the first leg, and then uh, ultimately found myself four two down when I felt like I should have been four two up. I gave him a cricket leg as well, and we didn't play really well, um, and then. Uh, I continued to grind and try to get into that rhythm. And then, you know, after I ultimately lost that match, I was just, I was gassed, man. So um, today's a new day. And we'll kick on and we'll uh, we'll give it all we got. There you go. There you go. Any final thoughts you want to tell to anybody here on the uh, on the, on the uh, interview? Yeah, man. So, you know, big shout out to Red Dragon. Win more for sure. Um, you know, they're, they're ultimately that's, that's my... Uh, my day-to-day -day job is working for them. Um, shout out to uh, Lawn Masters and uh, Maze Roofing as well. A couple guys locally, a couple of my friends that uh, are helping me su support me to get me here and to other events this year. Uh, really looking forward to the CDC, looking forward to the steel tip side of things, and you know, also being in uh, Chicago for the bull shooters. So, yeah. Yep.
Jason Watt, BDG, it's always good seeing you, man. Thanks for, thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, man, you're doing great things. Keep it up, buddy. Appreciate, Appreciate it, buddy. It.